Hello and welcome to channel Ein R Key and I am your host Voluntary. Hello Mr. Creaky Blinder. I watched your recent response to Eric Hovind with much enjoyment. You are pretty good at responding to creationists. Your arguments were well put together and backed by evidence. But this time, I think you missed the mark. You see, while he did an excellent job responding to his stupid arguments about the erosion of the Niagara River and how, since science says it took about 12,000 years, he asks why shouldn't the erosion be done by now? The problem is you're responding to the wrong stupid argument. Eric Hovind was making a different stupid argument than the stupid argument you responded to when he was talking about the erosion of the Niagara River. I know this because I have years of experience translating idiotic babble into English. I can't make his arguments make sense, but I can translate them into English. I can tell you what argument he was making, and I think it will shock you when I tell you. You give him too much credit for intelligence with the response you gave. I'll break down what Eric Hovind was actually saying. You'll probably need a good stiff drink. Get totally pissed, as they say in your country. You're going to need it. We understand Eric Hovind's position. It is that the Earth was created fully formed and mature about 6,000 years ago. We also understand the scientific position that the Earth was formed approximately 4.54 billion years ago. Eric Hovind thinks that the scientific model is that the Earth was fully formed and mature about 4.54 billion years ago. So, since it took 12,000 years for the Niagara River to erode so that the falls are where they are now, therefore, he thinks that should have happened 4.54 billion years minus 12,000 years. Given all the remaining billions of years, the erosion should have been complete by now. Now, you or I, when we hear the erosion to get the falls to where they are took about 12,000 years, we tend to think, gee, I seem to recall something interesting happening about 12,000 years ago. Something called the end of the most recent ice age. That would mean the river started flowing and also started eroding when the ice age ended. Not so Eric Hovind. According to Eric Hovind, since science says the Earth is 4.54 billion years old, that is when the river should have started flowing. Okay, go ahead, have another drink. It is hard to grasp that level of stupidity. He actually cannot hold two separate ideas in his head at the same time. Ask him about the growth of the Rocky Mountains, the Andes Mountains, or the Himalayan Mountains, and he will be able to talk about continental uplift and then wonder why they aren't even higher since he has completely forgotten about competing forces such as erosion. Given 4.54 billion years, shouldn't they be sticking out of the atmosphere? Then ask him about the erosion of the Appalachian Mountains and the Scottish Highlands 
since they are actually the same mountain range along with Iceland, and he will wonder why all the continents haven't eroded away since he's forgotten about the competing force of uplift. Two ideas at once, such as uplift and erosion, and he can't think of both at once. So, since the scientific model has Earth being billions of years old, one of those two forces has been acting for billions of years. But not both. Certainly not both. Since he thinks the scientific model says everything was created fully matured billions of years ago, anything that could have eroded by now would have eroded by now. Anything that could have run out by now would have run out by now. Anything that could have collapsed by now would have collapsed by now. He thinks that the scientific model creates an earth with blue skies, green grass, rolling oceans, and everything else 4.54 billion years ago. Now, Greeky Blinder, stop trying to gouge your brain out. It's not productive. While that level of stupidity is dangerous, it isn't lethal. You'll be fine after a good long rest. Then, next time you decide to respond to someone named Hovind, your response can be even more blistering as they deserve. Thank you for watching. We're now in the double digits for subscribers, and hopefully we will only keep growing. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe to help my channel grow.